What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Sword. Last time you checked in, uh, we fought Oleana at the Rose Tower and now supposedly I am ready for the championship battle. What do you guys think? You think it's true? I don't know, we're gonna find out. We're gonna go to, to go to Winden Stadium. And uh, before we do though, I wanna thank you guys for over 1.6 million views in the first episode. That's all thanks to you guys leaving over 28,000 likes. So keep those likes pouring in. We could just ride uh, a thing there, but am I really that far? When I have a bike, I don't think so. Let's just take the bike. <laughs> just down, it's not over here. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, it's just down here. It's not. Uh, what is that though? Let's just go, here we go, we'll get there. I'm just gonna ride my bike. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could have just taken the thing, but I'm gonna ride my bike. Because the bike, it doesn't take that long. And well, what if we find another shiny thing in the middle of the road? We probably won't, I probably got those all cleared up. But it's really not that far of a journey, and plus it builds uh, the atmosphere, builds the mood up a little bit, right? Maybe not. Anyway, here we go to the stadium, finally. I probably could have got there a little bit faster, but that's okay. We're here now, and, uh, oh, there's Hop waiting for me. Hey, buddy. Hi. Z-Dog, I already beat you once, Hop. What's up? But I guess you did help me in the Rose Tower, so thanks for your support, Hop. Uh, this is it. Here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever made and set the world on fire. Okay, I hope I don't set the world on fire. <laughs> so go get yourself checked in. All right, here I go. Um, I'm ready for this. I mean, if the champion is ready for me, I'm ready. Oh my goodness, it's Z-Dog, you can do it. Does the ball guy wanna talk, have I already talked to him? No, I, I have talked to him, he's talking about the dream ball still. Anyway, everyone's waving to me, everyone is ready. Uh, let's let's have some fun with this. Here we go. Challenge Z Dog. We've been waiting for you since you won your way through the semifinals. You must face off against the gym leaders in all the finals. What? The gym leaders in the finals. Okay, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room now? Yes, straight away. So this is not just the champion. I got to fight all the gym leaders. All right. Well, here we go. All right. And I'm gonna guess, since I didn't see Opal here, that Bead is gonna be the uh, the fairy type gym leader. Uh, I say, I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Month reclaim their pride and to see him smile once again. All right, good luck to you. Long time no see. This will be different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those are basically test matches, but this this is serious battle. Sure, she's just saying that. Yeah, I don't see the fairy type here, so it, I bet you anything uh, that Bead took over. I'm going to win my way through every round, then I'll be the one t taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have failed to repay uh, Duraludon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. All right, sup? It's a curious feeling. My heart is racing a bit, but I still can't wait for the match to begin. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. I'll be bringing my matches to an end in a heartbeat, you'll see. No one who sees them will ever forget me. My first match is against Raihan, of all people, what rotten luck. But even if he ch changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easily. All right, I'm ready. Will you be headed to the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon, I'm ready. All right, then in you go, I'm ready. I think I'm ready, I hope I'm ready. I, I never really could find, I mean, okay, anyway, we're good, we're good. Here we go. Rushing in. So what's gonna happen? All right, it's the champion right here, but is he just here for the opening? It probably goes without saying, but hello Galar, I'm your champion. Leon the chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in on his behalf in order to lead you all to the greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galar region. The time has come for you to battle it out until only the greatest challenger remains. I have to read this fast. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the finals matches begin. Oh my gosh, I really do have to read that fast. <laughs> they, they, but you can read it fast silently. I just, when I'm reading out loud, I mean, I'm talking like the Micro Machines guy. Wait, you! It's Bead, right? Who's that? It is. A moment if I may, does anyone here even remember me? <laughs> I am Bead, the challenger who is forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bead, he's the challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Challenger Z-Dog here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unex unexpected turn of events. Why would they let him do this? Former Challenger Beat has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Beat. 
to all of our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had something. I, I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was only Anna who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady came out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy-type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion himself has accepted Bean's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Z-Dog? Who knows? Let's do it. My will hasn't been broken yet. All right, so here we go. I, I will face off against Bead, surely. And uh, I, I guess, who's who's my, who's my in the front? Bead, here we go. Gym leader Bead. It looks like he's the fairy type leader now, but he says gym leader. So here we go. Mawile. All right, now, right now, I have Sea Dog as my main, and I've fought Mawile before. So let's see what's going to happen here. We face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. All right, so Intimidate. I can't do what? Uh, oh, my attack fell. Okay. Well, uh, super effective Pirate Ball coming up. Here we go. Boom. After a while, my while. I said that before, but it, it still rings true. All right. My while fainted. All righty, so uh, Pokemon gain points. Sea Dog might hit level 61 soon. Uh, Gardevoir, that's a, is that a grass type? No, 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 that's not a grass type. That, what am I thinking? That is a, uh, that is a, oh, let me look it up. Is it a psychic? It might be a psychic. Gardevoir is a, yeah, psychic fairy, just like our dog. So a psychic fairy is going to be weak against, uh, not bug, because the, the weakness uh, is canceled out by the fairy. It's gonna be weak to ghost and not dark because that, that weakness is also canceled out by fairy. It's gonna be weak to poison and that's about it. So we, we're talking poison or a ghost attack. I could switch, even though I've never officially made him part of my team, might as well go to go lurk here. He does have ghost attacks. I'm holding something that powers up ghost attacks. It says this Pokemon can't use any held items. Are you kidding me? Never mind. I, ha I gave him a hold. Oh, whatever. I think this ghost attack's gonna work out okay against the fairy, right? I mean, actually, not against the fairy. Against. I misread that. No, it gets the psychic. Anyway, here's Gardevoir coming out. Now my guy's not super powerful, but we'll see what happens. So we're talking about a. Uh, which, which one's better? Phantom Force. Here we go. Calm mind. Don't do anything to me. All right, the special attack rose, special defense. Here's Phantom Force. Oh yeah, this takes me some time, right? Here comes a psychic move that's not gonna hit me. Here comes Phantom Force. Oh, one hit wonder right there, that's nice. All right. Good job, go lurk. It's a lot of points for you. Uh, Rapidash, now I myself have a Rapidash, Psychic Fairy as well. Uh, so we're gonna keep the current Pokemon and try the same move. Here we go. So, uh, 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 yeah, Phantom Force again. Oh, he, I'm gonna get hit by Psycho Cut, that's okay. Here comes Phantom Force, I'll disappear again. This should be pretty good. Here comes Phantom Force. Boom, in the back of the horse head. Unicorn head, whatever. Rapid Dash has been hit. All right, uh, so the final one, Sea Dog leveled up, interestingly. Uh, Hat Hatterene is the final one. It's gonna be the one that is, uh, is Gigantamaxed or whatever. Hatterene is also a Psychic Fairy, so we're still looking at using Ghost Attacks. Uh, keep the current Pokemon. Tisk, what's with that calm expression? Think you're going to win? I think I will, Bead. What a weird looking Pokemon. But awesome at the same time. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and Dynamax and use. Uh, there we go. We got it. I think this is gonna be it. All right. Big boys here. Go lurk. I maybe should have made him a G dog since he's he's been here the whole time lately. All right, we'll show you a truly great pink. It's time for my dear Hatternine to Gigantamax. I don't think I ever. I don't even think I have Gigantamax. Any of them, maybe. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't think I do. I have Dynamax, of course. She has a weird shape. <laughs> I don't want to say it's phallic. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes some ghost moves. I'm going to throw all these ghostly things like chairs at you, and you are gone. Super effective. All right. Adios. All right. Bead was an easy guy to go against. We got him, dude. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. I don't think you did. I think they saw them and were like, oh, fairy types suck. <laughs> All right. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger B was no match for Challenger Z Dog and his trusted team. Hey, B, that was some match, says the audience. Don't retire. Just restart your career. But, but this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> you just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Z Dog, please head back to the locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. All right, sure enough, I will be here. Rather surprising for Challenger B to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Now, when they say rest up, I mean, are my, are my Pokemon fine? Or are they... Yeah, they're fine. They're already rested. What, what are we doing here? All right, let's go back in. I'm back. I'm ready to go. Why not? Who's next? What's next? Okie dokie. The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two... The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are a trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Z Dog. His opponent is the Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. All right. What's up, Nessa? You're bringing the water back. We're talking electric and grass. I don't have grass. Oh, I do. With I do. Um, I can't tell. I can, I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Hallberry Stadium. I got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you, do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both of you and Leon. Both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out of to, to see and be on the horizon. All right. All right. We'll see about that. Here we go. Here comes Nessa. You don't scare me, Nessa. Uh, what the heck is that? Goldie Spod, what the heck is that? I'm assuming it's water. <laughs> it's a bug water. So it's going to be weak to electric. Uh, the fire weakness is canceled out. The flying weakness is there. The rock weakness is there. Uh, so I'm going to have to try to rely on electric. So I'm going to switch out. Uh, I've never faced this before. So T Dog, come on out. We're going to use uh, the electric weakness of water. And do some overdrive with T Dog here. Boom, here we go. Are you ready to rumble? I'm probably gonna get hit by something, right? Swords dance. Yes, they do. Alright. Attack rose sharply now. I hope my speed is better. Let's do overdrive. She has five Pokemon. Here comes overdrive. There you go. Easy. Easy. Super effective. All right, T-Dog levels up to 59. Go Lurk is 58 and wants to learn the move. Earthquake, yes, oh my gosh, yes. 
finally, uh, I can learn a ground move with this guy. Uh, so <laughs> it's 100. All right, so take a look. Uh, either the defense needs to go, or I just need to be better with, I, I don't know, man. I, I still kind of think that maybe, uh, maybe iron, I never use iron defense. So let me just forget it now. I'm okay. Iron defense might be good in the future, but for now, I don't seem to need I don't need it for story mode, at least. Uh, Barascuda. Now, that's going to be just a... Is that just a regular water? Let's see. Barascuda is a water type, so we're going to keep electric. Here we go. All right. Barascuda. Prepare for some overdrive. She has five Pokemon, by the way. Here comes Drill Run. Oh, my God. Oh my god. What the heck was that? Uh, dude, I need to heal, and I will heal. Alright. Level up for R Dog and F Dog. These guys are doing quite well. Oh, I do have the healing ability. I totally forgot about that. My black sludge. Uh, Sea King. Uh, Sea King is probably another straight up water type. Uh, it is. Now, water types are weak to grass as well. I'm going to put in F-Dog so that uh, we can maybe do do well with uh, maybe the Leaf Blade, I guess. But I probably need to find a way to heal T-Dog. So, let's just see what happens here. In my bag, I'm going to use... I could have just done this already. What am I thinking? Uh, let's do a Hyper Potion on T-Dog. And then uh, I'll probably get hit. I could probably use Leaf Blade, though. Here's Aqua Ring. Oh, okay. Veil of Water. Uh, whoops. Here comes Fight. We got Leaf Blade. Let's do it. That was good. <laughs> that was real good. All right. I'm glad he had that move. Who next? Uh, Pelipper. Another just... I think this is a flying type as well. If I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, it's a water flying. So, it still has that electric weakness. So, I'm going to switch Pokemon uh, back to T-Dog. And then do Overdrive again. All right. Should have a significant electric weakness, for real. Drizzle. You're going to make it drizzle up in here? All right. That's fine. Uh, here we go with overdrive. I go first. Thank goodness. And Pelipper's gone. Now, whoever is next is going to Dynamax or Gigantamax, even. So let's see how that's going to go. I get to heal again. I love that ability. Look at that sludge healing me. Uh, uh, Dreadnought. Okay, I know Dreadnought. Dreadnought is a water type. Is, is it a water ground or just water? Uh, it's water rock. So it's still weak to electricity. So I'm going to keep the current Pokemon. We're going to blast it with an electric attack. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. All right, here comes Dreadnought. I have a D-Dog on my team. Time to Dynamax and do Max Lightning. And now it's in God's hands. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I can guess how this is going to go. Here we go. All right, T-Dog. Love the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to Gigantamax. Dude, look, my head goes off the screen. I'm so tall. Let's see how big this is compared to me. That's a pretty cool look, but I think I look pretty darn cool as well. Show me again. Yeah, here we go. Max Lightning. 
Goodbye, Dreadnought. Another one hit on my head. I just, <laughs> oh, man. Let's get a perfect view of my torso. All right. Well, that was awesome. I can't think of what else would be better than that. All right. That was cool. Super cool, in fact. All right, well, you had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. Yeah, I think I did pretty good, dude. And the winner is Z-Dog. It's time to hug. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Gallery's got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. All right, I beat Nessa. Uh, B, 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 beat Gordy. Uh, Raihan beat Milo. And Piers beat Kabu. I cannot believe Piers won that one. Does it make sense? It probably makes sense. But uh, I'd have to look at the different types <laughs> to know for sure. Like, does fighting really beat... I guess fighting does beat rock, right? Fighting... I mean, there's no... Yeah, fighting does beat rock, if you look at that. So, okay. I, I'm just going to assume it, it all makes sense. It may not, but dragon beats beats grass, I'm sure. Yeah, dragon beats grass. That that makes sense as well. Um, And then what's what's Piers? Oh, yeah. Piers is emo versus whatever Kaboo is. I don't even know what Kaboo is anymore. <laughs> I don't remember. Is that fine? I don't know. Anyway, let's just go on. I can't believe Piers won. All right, I'm good. Let's go back out. I'm ready to just begin the next round immediately. Here we go. I'm gonna go against B uh, Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals of the four remaining challengers. Which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup as the former gym challenger Bead stormed the stage. But Z-Dog was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him by washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Galar Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for gym leader Bay. Bia. I don't know how to say her name. Everybody. She's here, though. She thick. I promise you my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. All right. So fighting type, we're lucky. We got flying, psychic, and fairy. Our dog is going to make... Quick work of her. Probably. <laughs> Alright. Halucha. Alright. Halucha is one of those uh, types that just straight up fighting and fly. Oh, no, it's not. Fighting flying. Sorry. I misread the situation. So we can do electric. You may have. Okay. I, I wasn't even reading what she was saying. Uh, let's. Should I even bother? Let's just fight with fire. I don't care. We're good. Let's do Pyroblast. This should be a good hit. There ain't nothing wrong with fire. I may not do everything, but it did everything. There we go. <laughs> All right. There you go. Who's next? Phalanx is just straight up fighting, so we could definitely use uh, our dog here. My strongest Pokemon, actually. No, D-Dog. What? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry I misread it. <laughs> sorry. I thought it said 67 for D-Dog. It was 57. All right, here's our dog. Beautiful our dog. Phalanx coming out. Whatever you like, man. We can use whatever move you want. She has five total. Let's use... Uh, is Dazzling Gleam? Let's use Psychic. That's a 90 attack. There you go. I'm going to attack your mind. Your mind. All right. So, D Dog leveled up to 58. Uh, Sir Fetch. That's also just a straight up fighting type. Uh, so, we're going to keep the current Pokemon. I, too, have a Sir Fetch myself. I enjoy him, I mean, her, quite a lot. Let's go ahead then and do another psychic move.
Boom, Sir Fetch, you're going downtown. Downtown. All right. Uh, Grap locked. Another just straight up fighting type. From my memory. Maybe it's a fighting water. I don't know. Uh. All right. Easy peasy. Who's she bringing out for the finale, though? I gotta, I gotta know about that. Who next? Machamp. Okay, yeah, just another. No, keep the current Pokemon. Our dog is really doing. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. All right, here comes Machamp. Not a big deal. Uh, so we're going to Dynamax our moves. 130. Let's do this uh, Max Starfall. That was a fun one. Get ready for it. That's what I like to see. All right, here we go. You can't really stand a chance. I'm so tall. Here we go. Get ready, Machamp. You're about to get Max Starfall to death. Oh, he withstood that. I oh, I was hoping he'd go down in one hit. That's okay. That's okay. I'll get you next time. Here comes Max Flare. Fire doesn't really do much to me. Nothing special. What an attack, though, huh? All right, so just to end this, I could do... Let's do Max Strike. I don't think I've ever done that before. Oh, Full Restore? Son of a... All right, fine. Here we go. Max, is it max Strike? I thought I was just going to finish him off with this, but here's a cool move. It's a normal move, though, so... I just wanted to see what it looked like. The speed fell. Uh, let's do Max Mindstorm now. All right, there you go. You're gone. And I'm a beautiful unicorn. It says they fainted, but it's like they explode at first. All right, can experience our dog leveled up to 66. Not too shabby, right? All right. She touched her boobs. Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. All right, here we go. B has been defeated. Challenger z Dog has shown his skill. Thank you for a wonderful match. Let's hug. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in those seats, folks. You want them to get up? Oh, yeah, Raihan won again. Okay, dragon type. That's fine. Uh, so, uh, Contender Raihan gloriously defeated Contender Piers. No surprise there. Uh, but, if we're gonna go, go up against Sir, uh, Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, z Dog. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. <laughs> you got it wrong, Sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. Marty, come out with me. Come out with me. We will fight. It's like a two, isn't it? Don't, are we using two anyway? Come out with me. Come out with me. Marty, we can do it. Two on one. That'd be fun. I'm counting on you to win, Z Dog. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. 
Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Raihan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. So last time, you know, I had I had a great combo against Raihan. And I don't know if he's gonna be sending out one or two, but I'm going to uh, switch our dog up there, and F Dog's still gonna be number two. And uh, we'll see how this checks out against I don't I don't know if he's gonna be doing doubles again, you know. I don't know. I, it, that, that should be against the rules, honestly. But let's let's see how Ryan does. Maybe this sends out one at a time, and we we'll be we'll be fine. I don't know. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star challenger Z Dog, or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival, the tamer of dragons, Raihan? I think I'm saying is it Raihan? Raihan? I don't know. You're really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah. Leon's my rival, and he chose you, so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Raihan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. All right, so one-on-one -on -one battles, huh? Let's see what he sends out. I really don't know what to expect. All right, gym leader Raihan is sending out what? A uh, Torkoal. Torkoal's interesting. I remember him from a previous game, but I just don't remember what he is. I think he's like a fire. I don't know. He's like a ground. He's, he's, he's a fire. He's a, he is a fire. All right. So, as a fire type, we want to use water, ground, or rock. Ish. Uh, I finally do have... Uh, of course, here's the thing. Uh, I got a steel ghost, don't I? So Pokemon. Uh, this is kind of this might be one of the weaker ones. Um, we do have a ground move with Golurk, but I do worry that no, he's not steel at all. He's a ground ghost. So okay, this could work. Let's do this ground move. Fire. Wait, is ground good against fire? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's try this ground move. Earthquake. Golurk. I probably should have named you G Dog, but who cares? <laughs> Maybe I'll replace you as soon as we get whoever the cool Pokemon is on the cover of the game. Solar Beam, watch out! This could this could hurt. What is this? What does this do? Oh God! Yep, that was heavy. Super effective. I don't like that. Here comes Earthquake. Hope Earthquake is good. Earthquake is good, but not great. Here comes another solar beam. Come on. He's gonna kill me, I think, right? He probably has the thing where he charges up the item and he gets to use it multiple times. Son of a gun, dude. Go lurk, fainted. All right, let's bring out D-Dog then. We'll use liquidation. I mean, I guess. Should I use, uh, let me look at my bag. Let me go ahead and do a uh, revive on Golurk, just so he gets that XP. I'll take whatever hit he throws at me. It's water versus fire. Oh, God dang it, he's a full restore. All right, whatever. Here he goes again. Uh, let's do liquidation. That was not as good. Here comes another solar beam. I think he has the held item where you get to go ahead and use your move after charging it. And that's why this is so effective. Maybe. Oh my god. What the heck is solar beam? Alright. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. I might just... I mean, what the heck? He's fire type. Rock. We have a rock move. No, we don't. Dude, I don't actually have a rock move. I guess I'll bring out this guy for another ground attack. If I can hit him first, that is. If I get hit by Solar Beam first, it's a no-go. Comes Earthquake. I don't know if this will take him out. I don't know if this is enough. It is. Thank God. All right. Super effective. I guess I didn't care about reviving D-Dog. Whatever, T-Dog leveled up. 
Sunlight has faded. Who's next? Uh, Gudra. I don't know what Gudra is. Sounds like a poison, if I were to just guess. It's a dragon. <laughs> so dragon, of course, weak against ice, dragon, and fairy. So we're going to switch to our dog, and we're going to bring out uh, a great fairy move. Here we go. This should be fine. Here comes Gudra. You look cute, but I'm cuter. And I got a fairy move, so Dazzling Gleam. He still has uh, this one and three more left. Dang, dude, I, these guys are really strong. Here comes Rain Dance. What does this do? What, what does it do? It started to rain. Here comes the rain. Feel its cold dampness soak into your body. Okay, yeah. So believe it or not, rain doesn't intimidate me too much. All right. Super effective. Go Lurk and Sea Dog both leveled up. And what's another move? Court Change. What the heck is that? It's a normal move. With this mysterious power, the user swaps the effects on the other side of the... No, no, I don't... No. All right. I don't know, man. I don't know what this weird stuff is. Uh, Turtonator. I feel like I've gone against him, right? Turtonator is a... Oh, it's a fire dragon. So that cancels out the fairy weakness of the dragon. Not the dragon weakness and the ice weakness, believe it or not. So we're gonna have to attack with freaking water. Actually, ground is the only thing that will work again. So yeah, switch Pokemon. I'm worried about Go Lurk with the earthquake move, but at least I have the ground move finally to actually use against these. I guess rock would have been good too, but I don't think I have a rock attack right now. Am I am I wrong? Am I thinking about that right? I don't know. That guy has a big, big shield. Face me. Face me. All right, here comes super effective Earthquake. Uh, but it's probably not going to do too terrible much. Oh, it did everything. It did everything I need necessary. Excellent. One hit. Man, Go Lurk is really becoming part of my team. Who's next? We're not even giving a D Flygon. Now, Flygon is... Is it a dragon flying? I mean, just by the name, Flying Dragon. No, it's a Ground Dragon, believe it or not. So, uh, a Ground is going to be weak against... Uh, well, I, I guess Ice is like the only thing. Oh, we can go back to Fairy, though. Here we go. Switch Pokemon back to... And I feel bad because D-Dog ain't getting none of this. Here we go. I should maybe revive D-Dog for the XP or not. Here comes Flygon. I really don't know what to do. Maybe I should just attack him. I got a fairy attack. Here we go. Our dog is proving to be quite useful, even in the finals. All right, who's he sending out next? Uh, Dura Ludon. Now, if I remember, F Dog was really good against Dura Ludon. Because Duraludon is a steel dragon, and that that the fire weakness and the ice weaknesses are both canceled out. Uh, but there's a fighting weakness that the steel has, and there's also a ground weakness. So let's try that. Let's switch over to uh, F Dog, and we're gonna use a fighting move for the end there. And I do remember them be these two being like the power team when I went up against them originally. But all right, here we go. You do realize I'm the great Raihan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon. I don't think he will be. I think it's going to be me. I'm going to Dynamax F-Dog. That's a big one, though. Throw a loot on. Uh, this guy's watching me. Don't, don't look at me, dude. Max Knuckle. Here we go. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. 
So he's Dynamaxing first. Why not me? Took a selfie with his floating Rotom. All right. Maybe I get hit first. I don't know. Here we go. I'm ready. Ain't got no worries. Except, like, what if I lose? That's a worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose. Here we go. If I lose this, I delete my channel. Oh, he's using Max Knuckle too? What? You gotta be kidding me, dude. I'm using Max Knuckle. I'm using Max Knuckle. And my Max Knuckle works, you idiots. Super effective. Critical hit. All right. Well, rip in peace, my friends. F Dog leveled up. That was a great. Now I'm the one who faces the champion, not you, Raihan. All right. He's like, what? Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. I don't know, man. Don't take it. You don't want that. Challenger Z-Dog seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up reaching further than you ever dreamed, and you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep, keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number one, Challenger Z-Dog has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. All right, here we go. Let's go up against the champion then soon, right? Are all my Pokemon healed? Everyone rested up? Okay, here we go. I get to go up against the champion. All right, the big moment's finally here, huh? I just came to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's a showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Probably your brother, honestly. Rillaboom just made a noise. <laughs> right, you reckon I should cheer for Z-Dog too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. Way back 10 hours ago in Postwick, 20 hours ago, I don't know. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Really, boom. I'll do it. It should be easy. <laughs> now, I honestly have no idea what type he uses. I don't remember. I think he took the water type. Didn't he take the water type Pokemon? If he did take the water type Pokemon, uh, then we're gonna want to use electric and grass. But I can, I, I'll have plenty of time to switch over uh, to. Here, I'm just gonna put C Dog. I'll have plenty of time to switch over to Toxel T Dog if I need to. Toxtricity. Um, so I think we're good. Here we go. Should be fine. I could save it beforehand just in case something goes wrong. Actually, I won't. Because what if what if the video goes wrong itself? I have to go way back and record everything. Who knows? There he is. <laughs> He's smiling. The tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience. Cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. If you can, it can fill you with fear knowing that. But I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it my. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard. <laughs> with all the rest of our team, we will use all of our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. All right. I forgot to use Charizard, honestly. I thought... I always remember he took, like, like Sobble or something at the beginning, so I was thinking... Anyway. Wait. Hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What's that on the big screen? This is what I was worried about. Hello there, Leon and Z-Dog. Just letting you know. Letting me know what? 
I think it's time I brought the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. <laughs> Why he's gonna bring about the darkest day for the sake of the future? But I'm a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Why is he doing this? I don't like this guy. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Great. The darkest day is here. We're not even, we're not even gonna get to have a battle. Lee Z-Dog. What's up? The video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now but, but for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. All right. And if I had won the battle, it would be me. <laughs> but Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Z-Dog. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help could I ever be? Just try. But what? What can I even do? Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark. Once. Ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing, he's bringing that about. And where do we even hear that name? The statue of the hero. The statue of the hero in Motostoke. Sonya said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Z-Dog. But where to start looking? How about uh, in the slumbering weald? That's it, Z-Dog. I'm sure it's got to be in the slumbering weald. That illustration you tried to fight off that day, it must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering weald. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. All right. So we got to go back, huh? Head to the pitch at Wyna Stadium when you're, if you're ready. Totally ready. So we're going back here. Sonya's already here. All right. Huh? Z-Dog and Hop. Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? My mom's here. Have you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw to that and is sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things at the slumbering wheel? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for Black Storm, for the Black Storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you here for, Z Dog? I'm here to stop the darkest day. Basically, to stop the darkest day, you mean you're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? Okay, here, take this. You should head to the slumbering wield. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. I got three max revives, thank you. And so we're going over here and we gotta figure this thing out. There's my mom. All that matters is that you can do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. All right, well. I'm excited, I guess. Ready for the sea dog? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Going to the forest after Wulu that day? That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add, add another page to our tail. All right. Now, I don't really want to deal with those. I don't want to deal with these guys either. Don't run into me, you bird. These are just all beginning Pokemon. <laughs> oh no! Uh, what is this? Blip bug. Uh, okay, I, I, I want to just run. Can I just run? It's a level two. I got away safely. Now hopefully there'll be more than just that here out here, maybe that big thing that I've encountered before will be good enough. Here we go. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. 
I guess I haven't been this deep before. There's a full restore. How... All right, mental herb, an item to be held by Pokemon. Shakes off move binding effects to move freely. It can only be used once. All right, so I hope this goes smoothly. There's so many paths. I got a question, you know, am I missing anything? Hops over there, kind of smoke ball. Allows the holder to flee the encounter without fail. That's kind of what I have with uh, our dog. Do I want to catch one of these stinkers? An elixir. I mean, I don't really want that, do I? Phantom Force! And this is a... The user vanishes somewhere, then strikes the target on the next turn. The move hits... Even if the target protect, I, I have that, right? That's what Golurk has. All right, let's get a move on then. Thought I heard something else. No, okay, let's, let's just move. I'll, I'm going north. All right, what's up, Pop? What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Uh-oh. Do you think we're going to find him now? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. <laughs> Lord. All right. They're each missing half an ear. That's interesting. Grilled. They really are here. The Sword and Shield Pokemon. I knew it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'll take the sword, you take the shield? Where'd they go? Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What, come off it, Sonya, you must have seen that, right? Those, those sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us, but then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What, uh, th then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug up some literature from other regions and I finally found something, mentions of the sword Pokemon Zakian <laughs> and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. <laughs> they, they, the writing said that the two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wield sometime long, long ago. Did they really? <laughs> Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Yeah, let's go. Let's find out. See you, Sonia. All right. Here we go. I'm not so sure what we're going to find over here. Oh, boy. It's quite beautiful. Kind of looks like a Zelda game here. Is that like a graveyard? A grave site? Would you look at that, Z-Dog? Now, that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. Yeah, for real. You, you do not see this every day. So what's the deal? Yes, yeah, there's a sword and a shield. Holy cow. Can't believe no one's found this before. <laughs> See that, Z-Dog? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. Cool. I'll take the sword. <laughs> a rusted sword. Okay. It is said that the hero used his sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the shield. Though, wow. Would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them, al have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Okay. What's going to happen? Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. You sure about that? I guess so for now. 
Oh, I'm gonna leave. See ya, Hop. <laughs> I mean, should I talk to him or, or... Hop, come on. Oh, he left too. What the heck, dude? Hop, you're being spooky. How did you leave? Where did you go? All right, Sonya's still here. Maybe I'll encounter encounter him by myself. I don't know. All right. Oh wait, there's something up here. How do I get there? Uh, stay away from me. Dang it. I ran into this. I don't even want this. A wild wheezing. He's big, but I don't want him. This guy neutralizing gas. It's level 45. I'm just going to run. There we go. I didn't really want to fight him or, or get him, honestly. Misty Seed. It boosts special defense on misty terrain. Interesting. It's just a uh, fishing opportunity. So right now I'm feeling pretty good. Oh God, uh, I ran right into him again. All right. Uh, okay, we got away safely. And is that it? I mean, like, I mean, we saw him, right? I saw him. But now what? I mean, I, I gotta know what to do with those two artifacts, right? All right. Am I doing the right thing? I guess so. Uh, we're running out of here real quick. All right, I could have probably taken my bike and been a little faster on Postwick. Where is everyone, dude? Wait, what? Where Where am I supposed to go? Should I go say hi to mom? What a frightful situation this has become. Still, I suppose everything will be all right as long as we've got Leon taking care of it. And you wish to help him as well, don't you? Don't worry. I'm certain you'll be of some help. All right, so where am I going now exactly? Let's take a look at the map because I really don't know now. Head to Hammerlock Stadium and Hammerlock. Right there. Well, we can, is that, no, that's Moto Stoke. Where's Hammerlock? Oh, up, up here. Oh, I can't, go. okay, so I'll just take a fly, I guess I'll take a flying taxi, I assume? I'm not really sure what all has happened. But it sure seems like that's what's supposed to happen. So, sure. I mean, okay, yeah, let's just go. Am I, I mean, okay. Here I am. Who's this? It's Raihan. Well, if it isn't Z-Dog and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the champion match, then something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future? It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. All right, and he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We, we gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon, and we've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Galar region. Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival. All teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then. Our great challenger into Hammerlock Stadium with you. So what's the deal here? Like what's going to happen exactly? 
No, there's Eliana. What's she doing? G Gym Challenger, you, you, you must help me. I, I mean, please, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamax for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over to the, over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what's going on? All right. Let's say you. Challenger Z-Dog. Up above, the champion is facing the darkest day. Yes, the lift will take you to the underground power plant. Here I go. To the underground power plant, then. Energy plant, so to speak. All right, here we go. Hop. What? What's all of this? We need to help Lee. Yeah, what is this? That's oh, Mr. Rose. I didn't see him there. All right. He looks so happy. And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the darkest day. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day, or should I say the ultimate Pokemon, Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem like I'm doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand, but I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused the ruckus around Hammerlock. That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to fight then. Here we go. I'm ready. Who do you have? I'm uh, Macrocosmos Rose. Alright, sure. Let's fight Rose then. Uh, Escavalier. That's a cool freaking Pokemon. He's got five Pokemon as well. I don't know if we can Dynamax in here. But S. Cavalier is a uh, is a bug steel, interestingly enough. So it's going to be weak against fire. So perfect pyro ball. Let's do it. Dang it! The failure rate sometimes happens, and th that time it failed. That's okay. His uh, what? His attacks up. Let's try again. Come on, pyro ball. Boom. Goodbye. Nice. All right, Rose, what else you got going on? You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Our dog leveled up to 67. Uh, Kling Lang. Clink Lang. And that's going to be... Uh, is what? That's going to be just a regular old steel. So, again, it's going to have that fire weakness. Uh, but also fighting weakness. So let's switch to uh, F Dog for fun. He's also level 62. All right. Here we are. Brick break, super effective. Here we go. Oh man, he gets to go first. Whatever. Here I go now. Oh, he's damaged. He was damaged by the recoil. Here's Brick Break. Super nice. Super effective. All right, who's next? This is kind of uh, exciting. Uh, Pharaoh Thorn. That sounds like e electric uh, uh, grass. I don't know. No, it's grass steel. I was close. Uh, so grass steel is is still still. Weak, weak to fire, uh, also fighting. So I'm just gonna keep on fighting then. Here comes Brick Break. Nice, another one hit. A critical hit at that. Iron Barbs do a little damage to me though. I kinda wish it would have like a little animation to show me it's doing damage to me rather than just saying that it did damage to me. 
All right, who's next? Uh, per Sarker. Now that's a steel. Is that is that the kitty? That's uh, steel. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's from the Galarian Meow. So we'll just keep the fighting, I guess. I don't know who his final is going to be, but we might bring out the fire for the final. Let's do another brick break here. Goodbye, Perserker. All right, a super effective critical hit again. And then who's his final? Uh, Copper Jaw. Now that is, that sounds familiar. Oh, that was the, was that the, that's the elephant. Oh my gosh. This one's also a steel. I'm gonna switch to the fire. Uh, switch Pokemon back to Sea Dog. And then we're gonna just use a cool fire move when we Dynamax. We're gonna get to see Copper Jaw pretty much the first time in his Gigantamax form, most likely. Oh, oh, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, so here, here we go. The last Pokemon. That means Dynamax, and I'm assuming that we're talking. Oh, this one. This one's 150. Here we go. Well, I'm ready. Sorry, Copper and Jaw. It'd be cool to see you in action, but it doesn't look like you're gonna get the chance. Boom. So what are we going to do? I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. I don't know if you're going to show me the move. I might just one hit kill you. Copper Jaw looks pretty darn cool though. I, I got to worry about this, don't I? Do I get to hit first? Here comes Max Flare. It was not a one hit, so I do get to see Copper or Jaws move. All right, now what? Here comes Max Quake. And I need to be worried because he might have a full restore coming around. That was pretty devastating. That was super effective against me, by the way. His special defense rose, so we're just gonna do it one, one more time. And this will take him out. Awesome. Another super effective move. All right. No one leveled up, but I still feel pretty good about this. All right. It looks sad. Or is clapping. I've forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Yeah, right. What's he, what's up, what's he got up his sleeve, though? Most impressive, Z-Dog. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the champion match between you two, and I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we, can't, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you that much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. All right, you want to say anything else? Of course I won't stop you. Head up via the lift if you wish. Can I check this out? This is pretty cool. It's like a giant Pokeball that broke open. Any cool things in here for me? Guess not. All right. All right, Z-Dog, I'm ready for anything. Are you? Of course. Wouldn't expect any less from my rival. Now come on, we've got to help Lee. All right, I'm, I am a little concerned about this, honestly. I don't know where this is gonna go, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, did we go all the way up already? I guess so. Yeah, we did. Okay, great, okay. Good luck capturing that guy, oh my god. 
<laughs> uh, that that's a pretty awesome Pokemon. Oh my goodness! What is this Pokemon called? <laughs> You came to help me in spite of the danger? Thanks, Hop and Yuzi Dog. You two really have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like some power of Eternatus is, uh, was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternatus down. Now, if I can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. I'm going to be a real. It's going to be a real champion catch. All right. Good luck. Unless, unless this triggers something. I don't know. Does Eternatus trigger anything? Good job. Wait. Uh-oh. 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 Didn't work out. What happened? What happened? Oh, my God. Okay, we gotta fight Eternatus now. Do I try to capture him, or is this a fight fight? I think I try to capture him, right? Eternatus is pressure. All right, so what kind of Pokeball do I have? Uh, Dream Ball, Dive Balls, Moon Balls, Ultra Balls, Great Balls, Luxury Balls, Quick Balls. Usually the sort of a wild encounter, here we go. Uh, I can't throw a Pokeball? Oh. You know, I thought they would rest up my characters, honestly. Okay. Uh, this guy is a poison dragon. That means we're talking about an ice weakness. And we're talking about the fairy weakness being canceled. As well as the bug weakness being canceled. So, this is such a great combo. That I don't know, and the ice can't the ice weakness is canceled as well. But we still got the ground weakness, and the psychic weakness is canceled as well. The only weakness it has is the ground weakness. So, geez, uh, let's just do. Can we just do like a normal attack? I'm almost dead, dude. I should probably heal. Let's go to my bag and heal. I. Let's do a full revive, max. No, I mean super potion, hyper potion. I really thought that it would it would heal me uh, beforehand. So we we might just be attacking with normal moves, really, uh, unless I switch to Galurk. Dynamax Cannon. What the heck is that? Oh god! All right. You know, I don't have any normal moves. Fire is going to be nerfed, basically. Flying is indifferent, though. I could just do a flying move. That'd be kind of fun. There you go. Peace. <laughs> See ya. Here comes another Dynamax Cannon that's going to miss. Yeah, not a big deal, but... Oh, he might be paralyzed. It can't move. Nice. Lucky me. Let, can I catch it yet? I can't throw a Pokeball. All right, let's just try bounce again then. It's working out for me. I'm just gonna bounce out of here and just keep coming back down on you. Use Dragon Pulse. Missed. Here comes bounce again. All right. Oh, flamethrower is gonna hit me though. What the heck? That shouldn't bother me too much. There's one more bounce. Unfortunately, I only have so many of these. All right. I could use ghost attacks. I could just frankly use a ground attack too. Here comes another bounce. Here comes the Dynamax Cannon. I think Sea Dog might get wiped out here. All right, that's fine. We have other Pokemon. Uh, believe it or not, I'm gonna bring out Go Lurk. I think he has some good stuff going for him, specifically the ground move. 
which is ridiculous. But here we go, Earthquake. He's paralyzed, but he's attacking me like every round. All right, sure. Super effective. Now what happens? Now can we catch him? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is bad, isn't it? Is this what triggers the darkest day or what? What's going on? Oh boy. Oh my god. Did he Draganimax or something? All right. Come on, hop. He turned and disappeared. Wow, it's huge. Let's take it on together, Z, Z Dog. So this is the real Eternatus. And there's pressure. C Dog actually did heal. Uh, so I can't Dynamax. So this is like the real deal, Eternatus, right here. Right? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pounce out of here and try the pounce again, dude. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, I can't use any moves. What? You can, what? I can't use any moves. That's bad, right? That's really bad. Uh, can I switch Pokemons? And bring out Golurk? I can't use any moves. I don't know what to do, dude. Storing his energy. I forgot. We found the sword and shield in the slumbering wield. How'd you forget that? Earthquake. Oh, that also hits double. Oh, okay. I'm just fan. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Z Dog, use the sword. It might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. I got it. Here we go. This is important. We got this, right? Uh oh. If they're all the way over there, they gotta get all the way over here, though. They're so far away. Boom, boom. All right. We've we've got this, right? Oh boy, I got a sword, he's got the shield. Please bring on the poke, oh God. There they are! <laughs> got Zaki in and the other one. Awesome. We will stop the darkest day now, finally. Maybe, I mean it hasn't been going on that long. <laughs> and they merged. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. They're even bigger and better than before. All right, well, I'm ready. Let's stop this thing, Eternatus. We got some real Pokemon out here now. Zacian's in intrepid sword. And Zamazenta's Dauntless Shield. All right, so what kind of moves do these things have? Let's see. Fight with, uh, oh wait, what? Oh, Sea Dog, what? I'm so confused, Sea Dog's here. Oh, but, oh, but so are the, okay, so sure, use the bounce, I guess. Whatever, Eternatus, and then now, do, do I control the other ones, or do they just control themselves? They're just gonna control themselves. Here comes Howl. I thought I sent out Golurk though. Why is Sea Dog still here? It's fine. Here we go. Everyone's attack is rising. Here comes Light Screen on everyone too. 
All right, here comes bounce. <laughs> I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. I got other things to do. Here comes Max Worm Mine. I don't like that. Good thing Sea Dog got out of there. <laughs> All right. That doesn't affect me though. Here comes Double Edge. That's an okay move. Not the best. Hey, looks like we can use our moves now. Thanks to Zaki and Zamazinta, that is. I think that's how you say its name. I don't know. Where am I? <laughs> oh, whoa. The Behemoth Blade. Holy cow. Oh, my God. Well, that was pretty good. Gonna probably be better than my attack. Here's a Behemoth Bash. These are two pretty doggies. These are good girls. Good guy and good girls. Good boys. I don't know what they are. Good doggies. <laughs> Eternatus is taking some... Where am I? Boom! Oh, that was like nothing. <laughs> okay, I might switch to go lurk. But no, no, I can't because... Oh, man. Uh, the, the ground move that he does know is just not a good move. Maybe I need someone with a really powerful normal move. And I'm talking about uh, Toxtricity. T-Dog. Sunlight turned harsh. Do you think my fire move will be good now? I don't know. I'll just try the fire move, even though he might be not... Anyway, let's try it out. I don't even get a move. Come on. Goodbye, double. I'm Snorlax, a normal type. Put him to sleep so we can catch him. All right, let's... Uh, I'll try the pyro ball. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Maybe since the sunlight's harsh, it'll do something. Here comes another great move. Yeah, they're doing all the work. They're doing all the work. All right. And Zamazenta's gonna get hit by the recoil a little bit, right? Here comes Pyro Ball. I just wanna, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. It's not very effective, but a critical hit. Max Ooze. Nice. Nice. Okay, I, I think I do want to switch Pokemons to uh, T-Dog here because I can do a Boom Burst normal move and it might be pretty darn effective. Here we go. Behemoth Blade again. I mean, these other Pokemon might just do the trick for us, you know? Excellent moves. Eternatus is going down. That's what I can see. Yeah, I, I may not even get a chance to attack him again. Max Worm Mind again. On me? Son of a... <laughs> Fine. On everyone, I guess. I don't know. Well, T-Dog fainted. Sorry, Bo. Bro? Bro? Bo? I don't know. All right. Sure. And I, I think I think the other two Pokemon are... Uh, uh, let's just... Uh, what the heck? Bring out F-Dog. I have a fighting move that maybe is good. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe I won't get to move at all. Yeah, because here comes Howl. On me. My attack rose. Alright. Everyone's attack rose. Here comes Crunch. This, this is probably going to... No, nope, that didn't do him in. Oh, God. What was that? Okay. Another Max Worm Mine. Come on. I'm not getting any attacks in. you got to be joking. Kidding. Okay. Beth Dog's still alive. Beth Dog's still alive. Come on, let's get my attack belt, but here comes Brick Break. Oh, is he still alive? I think he's still alive. A sliver of health. Here comes Hi your shirt. Snorlax did the job. There we go. All right. This is it. Hurry, Z Dog. Try to catch Eternatus now. What kind of ball should I use? 
Like, that's a good... What, what kind of ball do you think I should use? Uh, what ball to catch Eternatus? <laughs> I'm just Googling it. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, everyone's saying Dream Ball. I don't know. What do I have? Ultra, great, luxury, quick, love, level, dusk, lure, friend, premiere. Dude, I don't know. What's premiere do? I was using premiere ball. I don't even know. What are, do premiere balls do anything special? Stay in there, please. Locked and loaded. I think we got this. We did it. Did we stop the darkest day? I think so. Well, that was pretty cool. All right, now what happens? Because this has been pretty big. All right. Three days later already, huh? All right. Okay, oh, I gotta click it. Sorry, I was like, okay, <laughs> it's three days later, all right? All right, there we go. There we go, we actually did uh, a really good, uh, a really good thing by stopping the darkest day. So, uh, what needs to happen now? So Chairman Rose turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what, I, what you sow, I say. All right. So, I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. We really did defeat Eternatus together with Zamazenta and Zakian. And still Lee's, well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? He's not, I, I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly in, himself during all that mess. I do understand how he feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and face off in a serious match. So come on. The match will be at Winning Stadium. Where else? So we got to actually have the championship battle now? All right. I'm assuming that all my Pokemon are well rested. All right. Looks good. You know, if he's going to be using uh, Fire-type Pokemon, like... Uh, uh, Charizard you know water ground rock so you know maybe we could go ahead and make go I mean we've been using go lurk a lot right we can maybe make go lurk part of the team be nice to him you know go in at last the final match challenger Z dog so I want to go over then to a uh, well where is the nearest hey, let's just go let's just go That was pretty eventful. Is there gonna be a, uh, I think there's gonna be a Pokemon thing. Yeah, right there. I wanna make sure I have everything that it takes. And that includes, you know, if I'm gonna be using Golurk on my team, and I have been using Golurk on my team for all this time, I might as well make him an official team member by renaming him to G-Dog. That makes sense to me. Um, I hope that he'll be happy with that decision. And I think he's gonna be useful if he uses Charmander, so. What do you think about a name? Rate a nickname. What do you think about Golurk's name? It's right here. Select it. Hmm, Golurk, is it? 
That's quite a fine nickname, but I think I would give it something even better. Yes. Good luck's new name will be now. G Dog. There we go. All right. Nicely done. No, we're good. We got him in. So now we're going to move on, I guess, to the final championship. I mean, we've defeated everything. We, we're doing such a good job. Now let's go into the final championship and see uh, what we can do. This might be a long episode, I suppose. All right, the final match is against the champion. The championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? I'm ready to beat him. Then change the uniform and head onto the pitch. I think we're both number one here. Does he have? Does he use six Pokemon? Let's see what's gonna happen here. Are we both number one? I think I think we might be honestly. So here he is. We're both number one. There can only be one number one. My matches are always sold out, but this I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Z-Dog. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon, Zacian and Zamazenta. Do I have Eternatus in my box? <laughs> I'm going to be so mad if I have Eternatus, but I wasn't using Eternatus. But anyway, I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you in the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Z-Dog, let's make this final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolutely champion time. All right, if you say so. All right. Here we go, guys. Leon. Get your head on. You are challenged by Champion Leon. And I'm going to become the champion. I'm going to beat my friend's bro. Uh, whoa. Aegis Slash. Is that a He has six Pokemon. Is Aegis... I'm going to guess that that's a steal, but I don't know. It's one of the duties of Champion to get the crowd fired up. All right. They're both... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? 62 and 62. Let's try Pyro Ball. I don't know, man. Here we go. I don't, I don't know what this is. I didn't look it up. Aegis Slash is a Steel Ghost, so it's it's gone. Okay, there we go. <laughs> a super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team. All right. These are high-level Pokemon, my friends. C-Dog leveled up to 63, and G-Dog is 60. Uh, Haxor Us. What is that? Haxor Us is a... Oh, this is cool. This is cool. It's a Dragon type. I'm going to switch Pokemon. I'm seeing so many Pokemon I've never seen before. Our dog's going to be brought in with a great fairy move. Here we go. What a beautiful horse. Unicorn, whatever. All right. Mold breaker. He breaks the mold. Sure enough, here comes Dazzling Gleam. All right. Okay, one hit again. Who's next? Send out who you who you may. A lot of people are leveling up here. That's good news. All right. Uh, Dragapult. That sounds like a dragon type. <laughs> I'm just saying it sounds like a dragon type. It's a dragon ghost. So normal moves are off limits. Uh, but fairies should still be good. So we're going to uh, keep... Man, this R dog is, is coming in quite handy. Like for real. Oh, I love that. That's such a cool looking Pokemon. Here comes another Dazzling Gleam. But I'm gonna get hit by the Shadow Ball first. And almost die. Aiming for super effective hits is a surefire way to claim victory. Yeah, that's, that's I'm gonna be doing this. All right, mine was one hit. All right, who's next? F dog leveled up again. No, I'm sorry, R dog. Uh, Mr. Rhyme. Who is that? Mr. Rhyme is. 
an Ice Psychic. So that's an interesting combo. It's going to be weak to fire. So we're going to bring back uh, Sea Dog here. All right. All right, fight. I, I mean, he's stronger than me. I'm going to have to give it my all. He's like a level stronger than me. I can't believe it. But that was still a one hit. Mr. Ryan looks ridiculous. All right, what's next? Uh, Inteleon. I like how it has the name Leon in it. That's why he probably uses it. Inteleon is a water. Oh, okay, just a water. Okay. It, it's the final form of Sobble. Okay. So we want electric or grass. Uh, let's go ahead and switch uh, Pokemon. We'll bring out T-Dog here. And when he brings out Charizard, that's when we'll switch to probably, honestly, G-Dog. All right, let's see what happens here. Inteleon. These things are stronger than me. I cannot believe it. I thought I was ready, but I mean, it's proving to be a little bit of a challenge, even though I'm doing pretty good. Tearful look. I don't like when he goes first. What is this? What did that lower? My attack and my special attack. Come on. All right, fine. Oh, almost a one hit. I'm gonna have to do it again, though. I don't know what he's up to. Yeah, full restore. I knew it. Here comes the full restore. Well, here comes another overdrive. And if I'm lucky, I'll get a critical, and then you're just done. But this is probably just not going to do anything different. Oh, the whoa. Whoa, whoa, super effective. All right. He's done. I don't know what changed, but he's done. All right. Last but not least, Charizard. I am going to switch Pokemon. G-Dog is going to get the credit he's always wanted. But he's only level 60. So, so, so yeah, I don't, I don't think I have any rock moves. I do. D-Dog has a rock tomb, but he's weaker. So here we go. Swap Pokemon. Wish me luck. I don't know what to say, man. Hello. G-Dog's here, ready to go. I'm not finished having a champion time here, and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. So Charizard is coming out. Good luck. Uh, Dynamax, Max Quake. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time. Is Charizard by any chance a flying type? I'm going to be so mad if he's also a flying type. I mean, he is kind of flying, right? Dang it. Dang it. He's, he's fire flying. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. He's on the ground, though. Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. I forgot he was flying. I just thought he was fire. What a fool. This ground move is not going to work. I feel so dumb. All right. We'll just have to attack him with ghost moves. Or swap him out, I guess. I don't know. Here we go. I'm such a fool. I'm gonna, he's going to use a flying move on me and kill me. That's okay. We can make mistakes. That's interesting. Here comes an ineffective move. So, whatever. This is so dumb, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, I'm going to try a ghost move. I don't think it's going to work, but uh, let's just see. Nope. Max Overgrowth is hitting me first. Okay. I'm such an idiot. That's okay. Sorry, G-Dog. <laughs> oh, what an idiot move. Okay, I'm such a fool. I forgot he was flying type as well. You know, in that, th in that case, you know, rock is pretty much the best thing to do. Uh, <laughs> or electric. I think I think electric might work out here. Good luck, T Doc. <laughs> you are so doomed. This guy's so strong. All right, here we go. Overdrive. Do your thing. 
It's a champion time to turn up the heat, Charizard. Time for our G-Max Wildfire. All right. Dang, dude. All right, here comes Overdrive. Not too bad. Ow, the, the fire though is killed me. <laughs> it freaking killed me. <laughs> All right, it's a struggle, but we're gonna we're gonna do this, <laughs> are we? Um, uh, do I have a rock move? Yeah, rock tomb. Sure. <laughs> Let's try rock tomb. Or water. I don't know, dude. I, I... All right, hey, I'm back. Okay, now you're back to normal size. I, I'm such a fool. That's okay. Which one's gonna be better, liquidation or rock? To, yeah, liquidation's gonna be better. Solar beam's gonna be first, though. You absorb the light. Yeah, so he saves it. So yeah, that kind of proves. Oh, got you with D dog. All right, <laughs> lesson learned. D dog leveled up to 60. Defeated champion Leon. We're super happy. I don't know if he's happy at all. There, he's forcing a smile. My time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. <laughs> that's, that's pathetic. <laughs> that's the greatest battle you've ever had. <laughs> I won, though. Oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. What's happening now? The game crashed. No. <laughs> Uh, or did it? It better not have. There we go. What's in his hand? All right. Is that my mom? And hop. Congratulations, Z Dog. You've beat every, even the unbeatable champion, making you, you the new champion of the region. You become a first rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. That's me, the champion. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. All right. And you, Z-Dog, what you want to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create the bright future we all hope to see. <laughs> they don't look very happy. All right, I can do that. People of Galar, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Z-Dog. All right. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. Have there ever been any like direct sequels to the Pokemon games? Like instead of just taking place in different regions or whatever? So, we beat the game, Pokemon Sword. That was a really, really fun game. There's still a little bit more content to do. For example, I don't think I've captured you know, the Sword Pokemon. <laughs> so, that's one thing about it. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. You know, there were some co complaints before this game launched about Game Freak, and I did not buy into any of those. I really enjoyed this game. They did a fantastic job. Uh, I I'm happy with this game. I you know I didn't I did not play Pokemon growing up, but I first played it on my channel. I forget was it Pokemon X that I played? I don't remember. But you know I eventually started kind of liking it, and, uh, and then I kind of stuck with it. And then you know we played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu last year. This year we've now completed uh, you know Pokemon Sword. And so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, probably play a little bit of the post game. Like one or two episodes. I don't know how many. At least one. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun forming my team. And uh, at the end, I think I had a pretty good team. I made that silly blunder of, of Kohler. <laughs> His ground move. And I'm like, oh, wait, it's a flying type. But other, I, I won. You know, I probably should just came out strong with Electric. I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted to give G Dog his, his dues, but uh, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. But <laughs> I can't believe it. Everyone's probably watching that. Me going in, they're like, he's gonna use G Dog against Charizard. He's he's gonna lose. <laughs> uh, 
And I thought maybe I would. No, I, I thought I was going to win the whole time. But, I mean, he had some pretty powerful Pokemon there. Uh, I enjoyed all the gym leaders. Some of them could have used some more personality. Some of them personalities were, like, really fleshed out. Like Opal and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, what's his freaking name? The emo guy, that Mr. Depression. <laughs> uh, Piers. Piers was really fleshed out as well. Opal was fleshed out pretty well. Uh, but and Raihan was pretty fleshed out, but some of the others were, were not so fleshed out. I would have liked to see some more done for them. Uh, but overall, it was pretty fun. Um, I wanted to see more of Marnie, honestly, but you know, we'll see what happens. She was pretty disappointed in her brother losing. <laughs> uh, and less hop. Way less hop. <laughs> that would, would, would have been ideal. But no, uh, we're going to see what's going to happen here uh, with the game uh, You know, after the credits roll. I'm sure there's like a little sliver of something left to do. Last time I played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I went and captured uh, uh, Mewtwo, I think, right? And that was, uh, that's that's what I kind of focus on for that one episode. So there's probably gonna be something for me to do. I, I haven't, you know, captured Zacian, right? And there's, I've saw so many Pokemon that I don't even know where they are. Like I don't even know where I would capture them. So that's another thing to kind of think about. Oh, they have voices here. Wow. Only like a couple. <laughs> so, um, yeah, even though I was given uh, Pikachu at the beginning, you know, for playing Let's Go Pikachu, I never really used him on my team. I thought Toxtricity was a much better character for me. And uh, he ended up, you know, with the poison and the electricity, even though I primarily just used him for the, the electric attack that he had. Um, and overall, you know, I also didn't use uh, Cinderace as much as I thought I would, especially towards the end. You know, I, I honestly can't believe it. I don't know if my my friend Yashi gave me uh, Rapidash or she gave me whatever it was called before it became Rapidash. I named it. She I had her name in our dog, so it would match in with my team. Uh, I don't know if she did some research to, to know that that character would just be super useful in the game. But I ended up using our dog a lot, and Sir Fetched I ended up catching on my own because of the fact that I really liked the hype behind Sir Fetched, and so Sir Fetch was another really valuable member to my team, and so I named him F Dog for Fetch. Uh, so thank you, everyone. Uh, I don't know if there'll be some. Oh God, not those guys. <laughs> so the end again. Um, I don't know what what it, 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 that entirely means for this game. But, uh, the end. <laughs> I had fun. I rate this game really high. Game Freak did a great job. Nintendo, of course, does a great job. This is the intro, right? <laughs> I don't know if there's a special intro after becoming the champion. Oh, here we go. What's this? I'm back in my room. Ding dong. Who's here? Oh, hello. Miss Magnolia, congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you as a celebration. Oh, it's a Master Ball. All right, great. I was looking for one of those. The best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance with it. You can catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Professor Magnolia, why didn't you have... Uh, you didn't have to come all this way. After everything Z-Dog has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are part of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble all across G of Galar. But Z-Dog and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So, young Z-Dog, please do what you believe is best. I'm going to take over the world. No. I'll talk to my mom really quick. Poor Professor Magnolia. She seems quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. All right. Anything else? The Master Ball is guaranteed to catch any Pokemon in one try, right? That's amazing! I bet you'll run into a Pokemon that'll deserve such an amazing Pokeball one of these days. So, I think so. I'm gonna try to track down Zacian, I suppose. And then, uh, yeah, but there's probably some more stuff that we can do. I don't know what, but let me know in the comments below what you wanna see from me in the post game activity, and I will bring it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking this video. Come back next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.